Kezia Lendo and I am also known as Kez and I'm a wardrobe stylist, creative director and writer hailing all the way from Trinidad and Tobago which makes me an island girl. I own the fashion company called Kez Styles and I've been featured in Vogue.com, British Vogue, Fashion Bomb Daily, and Lucky Magazine, which I also contributed for. Right here in the Caribbean, I have styled some of the amazing public figures, such as Goldalie Bruce, Hemaram Kisun, and the Soka King himself, Marshall Montano, amongst so many more. I also do TV commercials. But today, we're here to talk about you. So I know the everyday person does not always think about hiring a stylist, so I wanted to offer my tips, tricks, and styling advice to help you elevate your everyday wardrobe and take it to the next level. For my first episode of Kez Styles, we're gonna talk about the foundation of it all and what greater place to start than with basics. What are basics? Basics are the plain canvas pieces that make up your everyday wardrobe. They could be things such as tees, uh, crop tops, tank tops, your jeans, and your little black dress. Those are the types of stuff that are basics. So in this episode, we're gonna look at how you can amp up those same basics and take them to the next level. So we are at 212 location store on Frederick Street in the heart of Port of Spain. If you don't know where Port of Spain is, it's Trinidad and Tobago. This is one of my favorite stores for basics and just casual wear in general. They have it all, literally. So today I'm gonna teach you how to take a basic tea, whether it be here or in your wardrobe, and style it all the way up as an amazing outfit. It has stuff here for both men and women, so we're gonna get into it today. And in case you're worried that you just don't know how to use what you have, I'll show you. but then this is like bomb. So this is a denim jacket, kind of oversized, which is what we wanted so that we could play a little bit with the shapes. And then I took like a belt, singe the waist of, waist of the belt and do this, cause I like doing that obviously in all my belts. <laughs> Added some red heels to match the belt and we have like this really cool, cute look. I mean, it could go for like a date night, um, I love, my favorite part about the belt is this, of course, because she doesn't have to have like a purse, she just puts all her essentials in here, lip gloss, and she's a go. Now this look could also be like dimmed down a notch for something more daytime, and if you're doing that, we just change the heels to sneakers, like this. So now Eshe is wearing her favorite kicks with the look and you see how much it's transformed from being something very night-like, something very date night-ish, to something like daylight-ish, right? And of course, she could top it off with this cute little hat. Move this out of the way. <laughs> right? And we have something more casual, more fun for outdoors, maybe a sports event, something like that. Twinsies. <laughs> so with this look, I wanted to show how you could actually use my blazer dress, uh, but with a basic. So as you can see, it's an oversized jacket fit, and I cinched the waist for me because I just I like to have a cinched waist. But this is the same blazer 
different color right and added to it is the little black dress so if you don't want to wear your little black dress as just a little black dress this is one of the ways you could do it so she has on a really nice cinched black dress inside and i paired it with this and instead of doing the black heels i kind of wanted to give it a bit of a retro funk so i used white heels with it and then of course a cute leopard print uh, airing to just turn up the retro a notch and this is really I mean I love it and of course you don't need to wear it with a belt which is also something I wanted to show and yeah so cute <laughs> back and we're showing how to style a graphic tee in a really cool way with prints. A lot of the times when we think about basics we don't really always think about pairing them with prints. So this is how you do it and look super chic for whatever event you choose to go to. So you can even add some shades to it, get a little, you know. So <laughs> Aliyah is going to pawn her shades and show us how she rocks it. So what I did, I just tied the tee instead of just putting it in. So like, you know, it gives it a little bit of personality, a little character. And then she has a really nice, I love this printed pants, wrap pants. I think it's so cool for just any outdoor occasion. And I love comfort and it's, is it comfortable? It definitely is. <laughs> it's really Good. And you know, a really nice little handbag that just kind of just brings everything together so yeah this is a really good way to also wear graphic tees if you haven't done it before <laughs> also um if you need to just dress it up a bit because it's not so much of a laid-back occasion add a cute white blazer works like a charm look at that <laughs> It looks so so good and yeah and you see it like elevates the look up like two more notches maybe three and yeah she looks like a whole chic luxurious diva I love it so this look that is coming on on SHA uh, I like to call it shades of pink because it's literally that. It's a bit monochromatic, not completely monochromatic because she's wearing gold shoes, but Eshe, come let's show them what we're doing. So this is actually a basic bodysuit. It's jersey material. And usually I think you'd pair this with like a pair of jeans or slacks or something like that, even shorts but you could also style it up for an evening of dinner or anything like that. So we have her hair in the bodysuit with a lovely pink pencil skirt that just fits perfect. I kind of cinched the waist a little bit and added some detail with this cute metallic pink belt that I love. And of course she's using Aya Styler jewelry. Uh, she has on pink, so you could go really, really pink without looking super pink if you know what I mean and uh, some gold heels this cute bag which was um, by Zara and Eastman it's local so yeah this is something I would definitely wear in like a heartbeat to any kind of dinner really so cute Okay, and this is our finale look for our females. Aaliyah is in a bell of the ball look with a bodysuit, a jersey bodysuit. This is actually a jersey bodysuit. Let me just show them. It's actually about this long, but I just pulled it up. And I use this bodysuit with an amazing ball skirt from Zara and Yisman because they make such extravagant couture pieces. 
that are so super Caribbean. I love the color of it. I love how it contrasts against the black, which is why I chose this color ball, ball skirt. And then to top it all off, one of the best ways, if not the easiest ways, to turn a basic tee look or basic tee and ball skirt into a super formal look is a huge statement piece, which I did here. So this statement piece is actually also from Zara Nisman, but it just completely elevates the entire look to the place you want it to be. So Aliyah could go a wedding with this to, I mean, an extremely gala event and totally stand out. And people would not know or would not even bother to care that she's wearing a basic black bodysuit <laughs> to make it all come together. So yeah, this is like stunning. So amazing. And she didn't even have to wear earrings because she has her fro. <laughs> and I mean, the statement piece just does all the work. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining me as I style basics on this week's episode of Kez Styles. I hope that the advice and tips and tricks that I've shown you on this episode you find useful when styling your own wardrobe and stay tuned and see what we style next week.